If you want to learn how to treat, but you don't know what to start with, this video will help. In this video, we'll discuss 12 steps treating a learning plan, 12 important topics to study in treating. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and let's start. The first topic to study is trend analysis. You should always know where the market is going. You should have the objective rules for the identification of the bullish trend, of a bearish trend, and of the consolidating market. And remember that it doesn't really matter whether you are a fundamental trader or technical trader, whether you are a swing trader or a scalper, trend analysis is the essential part of trading. The second topic to study is support and resistance levels. Remember that support and resistance play a crucial role in trading. Support and resistance are the magnet for the price. From support and resistance, we expect strong bullish or bearish movements. We expect the market reversal from these levels. So it is very important for you to know how to properly identify these levels and how to identify the strongest and the weakest ones. The third topic to study is candlestick patterns. For technical traders, candlestick patterns are very important. With the candlesticks, one can predict the market reversal, the trend continuation, or initiation of a consolidation. Candlestick patterns are used as the confirmations. They are used for making predictions in trading, and for you it is very important to know how to identify the classic candlestick patterns. After studying candlestick patterns, you should learn price action patterns. Price action patterns are the language of the market, and knowing how to identify the price action patterns, the reversal patterns, the trend volume patterns, the consolidation patterns, you can quite accurately predict the future direction of the market. You can feel the mood of the market participants, and you can predict in advance the change of the market sentiment. The fifth topic to study is supply and demand zones. Supply and demand zones are the areas of support and resistance. And you should study this topic only after you master the recognition of support and resistance levels. Supply and demand zones are needed to identify the areas where the orders of big players are placed. And once you learn how to identify these areas, the accuracy of your predictions will increase dramatically. The next topic to study is multiple time frame analysis. Once you spotted support and resistance, supply and demand zones, multiple time frame analysis is used for monitoring the reaction of the price to the series on lower time frames. Once the key level is reached, with the top down analysis, you can confirm the strengths of the structure that you spotted. And with that confirmation, you can dramatically increase the accuracy of your trades. Once you started trend analysis, once you started support and resistance, supply and demand zones, once you started price action patterns and candlestick patterns, you are ready to start different entry strategies. The point is that you pick different strategies and you try them on a demo account. You try different techniques. You are trying to treat the candlestick patterns or the price action patterns or the combination or probably something else. The point is that you are looking for something that works for you. Yes, you're looking for the exact points from where you can catch the market moves. You practice, and that is the first step of building your first trading strategy. And then you study risk management. You learn how to set a stop loss. You learn how to measure lot size for your trades. You learn different techniques for protecting your gains, for protecting your capital, and for cutting your losses. Once you study different entry techniques and risk management, you can combine them and study trade management. With the trade management, you learn what to do when the market is approaching your take profit level, when the market is approaching your stop loss, when the market is coiling and standing around the entry. With the trade management, you learn how to manage your trades. With all the knowledge that you gained, you are ready to build your first trading plan. You are ready to build your trading strategy. Trading plan is the set of rules. It is the set of conditions used for analysis of the market and for interest. With the trading plan, you should know in advance what you are looking for, what are your entry criteria, and what exactly do you trade. Once you built your trading plan, it's time to try it. 
You try it in a Gmail account first. You try it, you follow the rules, you are trying different markets for cheating, following your plan, and you are checking what is working and what is not. Once you mature, once you learn to follow the rules in your cheating plan, once you become consistent, you can try real account cheating then. And on your real account, you keep following your rules, becoming better and better. And of course, perfect cheating plan does not exist. More you cheat, more experienced you become, you will identify more and more flaws in your cheating plan. And the fact is that you should constantly modify your cheating plan and make it better. Cheating for 9 years already, I constantly modify my cheating plan. I constantly notice some new things and I improve my cheating plan. So it is the constant work that you should do and you should make your cheating plan better and better and better. Right, you do. Spend at least one week on each topic. Study them with care and diligence. All these topics are perfectly explained in my cheating course, the link in the description below. Also, to you, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>